In this video, I'm going to be talking about Interest Explorer. I'm going to show you how I use it to help me find hidden audiences, to help my clients bring in more leads uh, on Facebook, and how you can use it as well to help you save a ton of time and to target some of those hidden audiences so that you can position your product and services much better. If you're new here, my name is Armando, and I work with small business owners and entrepreneurs, helping them use the internet to generate more leads and sales. So if that's something you're interested, click the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of the future content. Typically, when we're starting out advertising on Facebook, hopefully you're starting out with a warm audiences. So people who have visited your Facebook page, your Instagram accounts, people who have bought from you before, or a custom list of audiences that you upload. But sometimes, even with all that said, we start off by trying to find hidden audiences or better audiences to position our product and our services uh, so that these people can become customers. And for that, I'm going to be using a tool that I've used for a few years now. It's called Interest Explorer. Uh, there is a link in the description if you guys want to follow along. But I'm going to show you what this tool does and I'm going to show you uh, why I use it. So we're here in this section of the uh, saved audiences on Facebook. And typically, what you do is when you're looking for an audience, we go and we type in in the detailed targeting section uh, our keyword or our audience interest that we think is going to be good. Uh, and what happens in here, by default, Facebook gives you some suggestions that are related to the term that you chose. Now, the problem here is that Facebook shows the exact same 25 audiences in here, 20, 25 options to everyone on the planet who, uh, who is typing this key term. Um, unless you know specifically which audiences to target, you're, there's a pretty good chance that you're going to miss some of the really good ones that are in there and you're going to be competing with everyone who was going um, who is targeting the exact same people so let's say that here what i'm going to do is target people who like guitar guitar lessons because maybe i have a product or a service that is related to guitars maybe i sell picks online maybe i sell music sheets or any or something like that now i don't know anything about guitars uh, but let's just say that that's what i'm going going after so here what I do is I type in guitar and Facebook gives me an option to find more people that are related to that and it gives me you know all these options you know in here some of them say painting photography some of them say violin uh, some of them say Chamber of Commerce which aren't you know really related to my guitar term now here is where interest Explorer comes in Interest Explorer is going to help me not only narrow uh, those audiences down that are relevant, but give me hundreds of hidden audiences that that tool um, will not give you inside of Facebook. Uh, the reason for this is because this taps into the Facebook marketing API and it shows interests that typically are hidden from that list of 25 audiences. So unless you know to go directly to those interests and type them, you're never going to find them. So let's say that I type in guitar here in Interest Explorer. Now I get 141 interests uh, and a lot of these were not even present in here. So I typed in guitar and I see, you know, singing, piano, violin, dance performance, National Association of Builders, you know, all kinds of stuff in here in the suggested term uh, section. But I don't see, you know, love to play guitar, learn to play guitar. I don't see Fender Customs, any of these things. So if I'm looking to sell a product or position myself as a guitar expert or maybe a service related to guitars like lessons or something like that I would go into interest Explorer and I would type in you know guitar in here and it would give me a list of all the audiences for that specific term that are related um, and it organizes them by uh, lowest audiences to greatest now the other thing that this does is it gives you this Facebook and Google icon. So if you see something in here that you maybe don't recognize, you can click this Facebook icon and it'll search for that term in the in the feeds to see, you know, what kind of pages come up that are related to that, which you can click on the page and see if it's actually related to the thing that you are trying to, you know, promote. It does the same thing for let's say Google. So if I click on Google, uh, it would find you know the search term for that, and you can go to the website and identify and see if that's something related 
to what you want if you don't recognize it. The other thing that this tool does is once the audiences get larger, once they start to get larger, you get this little magnifying glass. And this little magnifying glass basically digs deeper into this term jazz guitar and finds other related terms that are only related to jazz guitar. So here's kind of how I use this. Now that I have uh, a list of 141 audiences, I start with the small ones first. There's a pretty good chance that people who are in these small audiences are not being marketed to like the big ones. So I typically just click each one of these that I believe are going to be related to my audiences. So I, I click this and I look for these guitar lessons. And, and again, I'm, this is for a demo only. I don't know anything about guitars. I'd have to dig deeper into these audiences myself. But just to show you the process that I go to to promote my clients and to promote products online, I'm going to show you what I do here. So I'll click any one of these. I'll click, you know, these here. They all seem to like make sense. I love guitars, pro guitar, you know, guitar technician, uh, Brie lovers guitar, uh, and let's just skip down to some of some of these one here, you know, these guitar magazine vintage guitars, and I'll I'll go to like you know some some bigger ones in here. Um, that right once I have these selected in blue I can save these audiences to a project now I'm gonna say that the project name is uh, guitar and I'm gonna save that now those um, these audiences are saved to a project inside of interest explore now what I typically do is then if I see other audiences that are larger that I don't recognize, I want to dig deeper into these. Like these are still string guitars. I'm going to click this magnifying glass now. And what you can see happen is that it takes this term now and it's showing me 59 interests that are not related to this. Now, what I want to do is I want to hide the ones that I already chose so that I can see other things that are maybe related. Because if I'm selling a product that is like a guitar pick or maybe music sheets or something, that may apply to some of these others. So if I see something that I like, maybe I like this one. Maybe I'll look for 12 string. Now, I wouldn't have known to target this. I wouldn't have known that this audience has existed um, if I didn't have Interest Explorer tied in there, right? Um, then you have other stuff that uh, I'm not sure if it's related, and that's where these Google search and Facebook function comes into play, right? So once I have these, okay, let's let's add those. Once I have those, I want to, you know, add those to a project, okay? I want to add those to a project, and I will continue to, you know, place those into my guitar project, and I'll, I'll save to an existing project, right? Once I have that, um, here's what I do then to narrow down my audiences and really hone in on on the advanced targeting that Facebook has to has to offer. I go to projects and I click on the guitar project. Okay, it has 40 interests. I go ahead and I select all my interests that I want. Once I have my audiences selected in here, I click on create layers. Okay? Click on create layers and Interest Explorer will put all these into one layer. What I do is I add at least one other layer, sometimes possibly two, and then I tell Interest Explorer to randomly pick some of the audiences that are in the bucket. So it'll pick these and put them on one layer, and it'll pick these and put them in another layer. So what I do then, and for the sake of this, I'm just gonna keep it at two layers. I'll go ahead and I'll copy this first layer, and I'll go back to my audience section here on Facebook. And what I do is I will copy and paste that in there. And then I will go ahead and I will narrow my audience even further. So then I'll go back to Interest Explorer and I'll copy the second set there. And I'll go back and I will narrow that down. They must also match these audiences there. This, this makes my audience much more precise and therefore I can advertise my product and my services to an audience that I know has a very higher chance of engaging and liking with stuff that's related to guitars. 
And this is how I pretty much use Interest Explorer to save me um, a ton of time and to uh, create ads that actually convert very well for uh, some of my clients. Now, if you're interested in using Audience Insight or Interest Explorer, there's a link in the description of this video. You can go ahead and snag it. Uh, if you want to test it out, if you want to check it out, go ahead and, and, and do that. Um, and if you have any questions about it and if you like this video uh, leave me a comment in the in leave me a comment and let me know if you have any questions uh, if this was helpful in explaining what this tool does give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one